What's going on guys? Samuel here and I just want to do a quick little update. No, Korea is not banning cryptocurrency South Korea. We will touch on that in a later video. Um, but I want to get everything together because I saw those a pretty cool interview and I want to chop it up and get what you guys should hear out of that. Um, you know, the creator of Binance talking about um, they're getting like a million people signing up a week. So it's too much for them to handle. So they're shutting things down. They're trying to bottleneck feed it and funnel things in. So, you know, they're actually located over in Tokyo. Now they've moved and they have, you know, to avoid China's outlawing, you know, or not exactly outlawing, but inhibiting you know policies um, and moving on from that it looks like uh, Bitcoin's rising a little bit you know it was rather low it was falling people were freaking out it's back up to 14,330 a coin so that's that I thought this was funny you know this is going to be more of a lending update for uh, the lending sites <laughs> I hate seeing this I hate seeing when these go down I really do so so uh, annoying um, I wish they would like to schedule the maintenance you know so that we they could schedule it and like change all of our loans or something so we receive it at a certain time that way we could you know do whatever we want to do right so bit connects down right now extras recovering it had fallen as far as two dollars now it's up to 682 those of you guys who uh, saw the last video a couple days ago like I said it was gonna fall it was gonna come back uh, look at those percentages. Looking beautiful. Looking real beautiful. 1 1.8, 2.14, 1.68, 1.52, and we'll jump over to Dave Roll real quick. Dave Warcoin, and we'll just look at their landing for the past uh, few days. 1.08, 1.02, 1.48, 0.91, 0.09, and tomorrow is 1.71. So just look at that. Go back, look at Hextra real quick. Hextra's still doing better. Uh, they've come back. They're back with a vengeance. Uh, Said so the coin's going back up. I'm hoping it's going to creep up slowly. It is at 682 a coin. Dave War has skyrocketed to 126 a coin. I was uh, lucky enough to get some of those back when they were uh, $80 a coin. I figured there was going to be a pullback, but they're going to come back again. Uh, so we got some of those. We sent some of the funds over, so we're just waiting for the funds to deposit. For the Lend Connect, Lend Connect is doing beautiful things. Uh, those of you guys who are paying attention to the Crypto Samuel Facebook page, um, you guys know that they're like promising like 5% or whatever the first couple of days. They're doing that. And in the last video I did, you know, we were said we'd hang back and we'd watch, and uh, their token value was five, you know, about five dollars token. At the, you know, early morning it was three. Now look at it. It's 1262 yesterday it hit uh, 15 a token so I mean even if you're not lending if you're holding you're winning so I'm waiting on that to come on over and see what happens with that we got the bit glare ICO still going on um, they're doing well stenium is rising so we could go check out the price of stenium real quick See how the Sten coin is doing for those of you guys who got on that. Stenium is now 223 a piece. That's outstanding. I know uh, I know a young lady who got in there when it was 25 cents a piece, so I know she's very happy. Congratulations, uh, Crypto Crystal. And uh, one other gentleman, I can't remember his name at this at this time, but I want to co congratulate you. And let's go take it back to the seven day mark. Let's see your gains. Let's see these gains that you have gotten. We'll go back. Let's see here. Oh, it looked like it was actually higher at one point. I hope you sold out some of that. Seven days. It hit 250. So, I mean, Sten's creeping up too, guys. So, it's definitely getting there. But for those of you lenders and those day traders, you know, you got options. Um, again, diversify. You know, I've got some money in lending. Hextra, I checked it today. It was actually like 15 bucks in there. You know, I'm at 150 invested. Uh, 
still either just coming up on my two month mark and you know I'm at the 50% mark so it's working with uh, 40 sitting in hexra tokens at this current low price which I believe will rise hopefully this thing will triple for me right to the 18 20 dollar mark where I want it to go and this will triple my forty dollars right here that I'm just sitting here that is profits made from the website that I've left there you know I took some of the other profits and moved it and again it's still going to be there I still got time on my extra gold lending um, I think I'm only like a few days in on that yeah I'm four days in on that so we still got time on that we still got time on our other loans so I mean it'll be a beautiful thing you know that goes up and then I just move it off site and I'm going to invest it into uh, another ICO we got going on or I'll probably put some of it in uh, Lend Connect. I promise you guys a review. So that's really what I'm waiting on right now. Is I'm waiting on this Ether to come through, so we could do this Lend Connect loan. Probably should have sent it over earlier, but you guys forgive me. I know you forgive me. You're too kind. You're too kind. Thank you. I know. I know you're like, nah, dude, you're a fucking asshole. But whatever. So that's what we got going on, man. Um, those of you who are holding Day War and hoarding it. I wish you would have sold out at $100 and bought back in at 80 but uh, if you're still holding it, do more power to you. I'm definitely seeing there's going to be a pullback. Uh, you know, our markets are getting more and more saturated. BitConnect was like at an all-time low. I believe I moved my uh, profits on BitConnect into the BitConnect uh, coin. And I'm kind of regretting it now that they're closed down on us. Um, so I was going to check on it today. I saw that uh, Bitcoin was up and I wanted to take it out. Okay, yeah. So we're up to 318 now for the uh, BitConnect, your BCC. And I had moved it over. Again, I had moved it over within about seven days ago. Get that going, get that going. Right here, somewhere where it fell. It is in here. All right, somewhere in here, where it was down. Let me find it. Where's it at? Where's it at, Sam? You said you moved it. Show us where it's at, Sam. I will. I promise. All right, so right here, about 280, 286. I move my um, BitConnect profits into BCC tokens out of the lending wallet, and um. It's rising. Again, that's rising. And that is now at 318 from 286. So, I mean, we could do that math if you want and get a percentage increase on that. But you guys get the gist of it. And that's what I'm talking about. Some of you guys don't have to day trade. Some of you lenders out there could just move your, your monies around from your lending platforms like that. Or if it's on the current platform like with me, with me and Hextra, just let it sit there. Or use some of your profits. I know we got people out there, um, no names, making twenty, thirty dollars a day, and upset that BitConnect's not doing so well. Well, all I really got to tell you is wait five days and uh, send that over to you know a good, high-performing um, lending platform or something like Hexer with the airdrop in that gold lending, or put it in an ICO. Dude, you can't go wrong. I mean. You got people who were who bought Sten, right, at 25, 35 cents. Some people bought some more at 50 cent. And just like I said, even if you bought it at the uh, 50 cent mark, right here, four times your money, a little bit over, and you just sell out right now, dude. That's it. That's how easy it is. Um, I mean, you got to be a little bit more patient, but that's where we're at right now, guys. Uh, I will do another video coming up shortly I wanted to keep this one short um, and we're going to talk about what's going on in South Korea but let me get all my facts straight because I don't like bringing anything to you guys unless we really know what's going on and I do not want to lie to you guys that's not what this is about I refuse to do that um, those of you guys still jumping on ripple you need to understand something like 60% of ripple 
just want to throw this out there. 60% of Ripple was held by the creators, and they plan to release like a billion Ripple um, a month or every so often. So what that's going to do to this price that Ripple is, I've actually gone ahead and sold my Ripple. And I'll show you the charts. Here it is right here. Right, where it climbed. And it came back, and I bought it somewhere in this climb. So um, I sold out some and, you know, pulled back. So I kind of just balanced out, you know, broke even, if not lost a little bit. I'm still holding on to my pop coins, you know. Love them. Um, but the, I see an oversaturation with Ripple coming, like, big time, big time. I'm going to see, uh, see if I can pull it up real quick for you guys. Take one more minute. You guys see it just like that. I'm just typing, typing it right in, and uh, we're gonna see if we can find it. There's a hundred billion ripples. So remember we talk about uh, <laughs> coin caps. So again, like. There's a lot of ripple out there, man. And see if we can get it. Okay, right here. How many ripples will there be? There goes a hundred billion ripples. Half of those are to be released for circulation while the company plans to retain the other half. So that was when Ripple first came out. So Pretty much what they're talking about right now is they're going to start releasing these ripples. So as they start releasing, I don't know, a billion ripple, right? 50 million ripple, 10 million ripple tomorrow, 30 days from now. Supply is going to go up. Demand's not going to match it. You guys, understand something. Ripples was created to transfer money for banking institutions, etc., and uh, be able to move money real quick. And right now, there's only a couple banks that are really doing it. So it's not, again, it's not really serving its intended purpose. It's not quite there yet. So the demand for Ripple isn't really there. I mean, we can do that with a lot of other uh, cryptocurrencies, you know. It's just the hype behind it. So would I say go buy Ripple right now? I would tell you to go do your due diligence, do your research, find out when they're going to uh, release this next batch of Ripple. I'll try to find that for you guys. And um, and when they do, expect the pullback. So, I mean, right now it's uh, like $1.96. Like I said, I sold mine. I bought some at like $1.30 and then uh, $2, 230 I took that hit. You know, it is what it is. I can't win them all. But, uh. That's what we're doing, and we're going to go send that over to the lending platform in Ether, because we just got some Ether. Now, there are black, going to be days uh, where we have our Black Friday days and cryptocurrency like we just experienced. There was a couple days where everything was down. Everybody was freaking out. No, if it's down, don't freak out, guys. Just go get some more. That's it. If it goes down, right, all those people want to pull out, when it goes down, it's either going to bellow out or it's going to come back up because you got to understand something. We just took off and the price doubled like two times every month. Like it went from – I was sitting there the night. It went to 8000 I was sitting there a week later when it went to like uh, 10000 I was sitting there when it went to 14000 I was sitting there when it went to 20000 People were like, oh, from 20000 it's going to go to forty. Okay. Well, I mean at some point we have to catch up, you know. And that's what we're doing. Right now we're catching up. Sitting around 14,000. It went to 18,000, 19,000. We're sitting at 14,000. It dipped down to 12,000. It's back at 14,000. That's how markets work, guys. So diversify. Uh, right now, like I said, I'm using Hextra. 
I'm using Davor and uh, I like LandConnect. I'm on the uh, BitGlare ICO. Um, waiting for I'm gonna I'm just holding those coins. I'm not gonna lend those. Right now it looks like uh, LandConnect's doing the best. I've got another ICO coming up uh, that we're gonna do Zootcoin, and we did that. I'm gonna get some of those coins, and we're gonna roll on. All right, appreciate you guys. And as always, you can find me on Facebook. You can join the Discord. And if you like what I do, you want one-on-one -on -one help, you want someone to sit down, talk to you, show you what's going on, help you walk you uh, through things, um, click the link in the description for the Patreon page and uh, join my crew and I'll work with you. All right, guys.